Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Ajo here with KissAnalog.com. All right, today we're talking counterfeit parts. I'm going to show you some pictures of what some good and bad parts might look like. Well, at least my good parts. I'll show you what they look like and how I believe that you're pretty safe if you find these kind of parts. I'm going to show you what to look for. And then I'll show you the bad parts. And basically, what it comes down to in my case is I needed an OPA 2604 op amp. It's a Burr Brown op amp, really nice op amp, I think, at least. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But, you know, the specs for sound look really good. It's one of the few op amps that operates on a high voltage rail. And on this particular amplifier, this was the Class A 20 watt amplifier that I designed or that I built about a year ago. I kind of modified it. I didn't design it. I bought some boards and modified them. I have a whole playlist on this. I sent it to, I gave it to a friend and he's been, he loves it. I brought it back to do some touch-ups on it to finish up the, the knot, some, just some touch-up things because it kind of rushed it over there so we could listen. And then he kept it. <laughs> and then I gave him a Class D amplifier that I, or that I recently put together and he's listening to that. And I want to do some measurements on this. So I'll get that one back. We'll do some measurements, kind of compare. But anyway, I needed to replace an op amp in here because I made, I kind of, I accidentally knocked one off of this socket. There's a heat sink on it, and I was kind of squeezing my hand, my big old grubs in there. And there's no space in here, and I kind of bumped the op amp, and it kind of knocked it off a little bit. And so I took it off to straighten up the leads, put it back on, put it up. And upside down, of course. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because there's heat sink on it, so it's hard to tell where pin one is. So I was trying to be careful, but of course, I, you know, I flipped it over. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. And I was out of uh, 2604, so I didn't have any problem ordering before, even though they've been discontinued. There, there's some in distribution, I assumed, or the uh, counterfeits seem to work well. I mean, I thought it worked really well. So I don't know if it's counterfeit or not, but they worked. So I bought some more, another five pieces. They did not work. They didn't power up, they didn't do anything. So I bought some more and I was in a rush this time. So I bought them from two different sources, hopefully that one of them would work, right? Well, they came in the same envelope and there's a bunch of them. There's like 72, I think on here. <laughs> I didn't want that many. I, I was in a rush and I was willing to pay just to get them here. And I think there were, uh, item one was 10 pieces, so I ordered five items, so I got 50 pieces. I didn't read close enough. I thought I was getting five. Anyway, that's why I got so many, but they came in the same package, so it turned out they came from the same supplier. Now, by the way, uh, the supplier for these two, the supplier for these, they're all identical. They're marked identical. Now... I got some from Amazon as well. Some of these came from Amazon. I think these and those came from Amazon. And the two suppliers here were eBay. I believe that's the way it was. And anyway, none of them worked. They all have the same markings on. Well, I can't say none of them worked. I only tried about 10 randomly from this assortment. And I tried all five of these when I got them. Hoping that at least one would power up and work somewhat. But they didn't work at all. And then when I got these from Amazon, uh, it was weird because, like, I think there's 10 of them in there, two of them, and I got them from two different suppliers from Amazon, by the way, too. Uh, two of them actually showed a little bit of a signal, which kind of threw me because none of the other ones I did powered up at all. So, uh, man. But I'm going to show you what the markings look like. The markings look identical on all of these. Okay, so I did buy some from another supplier from eBay. Yeah, call me dumb, right? But the thing was, is these, I'm going to show you what they look like, and I was pretty confident these would work just because of what they look like. And sure enough, they do work. So I did get five good pieces, and I might order some more, but be very careful buying any discontinued parts because... If you think there's just some in distribution, chances are it's just they're knockoffs and counterfeits and they either will work poorly or not at all. I've heard from some people 
that they've had parts installed that seem to work, but then when they test, you know, them to spec, they don't they don't match spec and they don't work that well. And so yeah, it's a real problem these days. Um, but I'm going to show you what to look for in at least this case. And I think pretty much for any op amp, if you see this kind of package, I think they'll probably be okay. Okay, let me let me go show you what that package looks like. Okay, let's look at some pictures. All right, so this first one's the NE5532P, and this one worked, even though some people said that they've gotten counterfeits of these parts and. Uh, that's supposed to be a Texas Instruments symbol up in the left, and it didn't look really great, so I was a little worried. But this one seems to work great. It seems to work right up to specs and everything, so I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. But when you look at close, like how it's stenciled, that doesn't look as good as I would normally, you know, think. Okay. Now the this next part, the Burr Brown part, it's OPA 2604 AP, right? And you can see the identification, the 19WR, what, 7F0 or 7FD maybe? I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think of that number. That could be a lock code or a date code of some kind. But, yeah, it's really coded, so I can't really tell what that is. But that one worked, okay? So that's what one that looks like worked. Now, this next one... The next picture, it, it's another view of that. I put it on an angle so you get a little more contrast so you can see a little bit better. It's the same part, just you can kind of see it sitting. Four of the pins are sitting on top of an upside down chip. That's what is the top of the picture. So it's just kind of putting it on an angle so we could see it in a different light. Okay, now this part, obviously different, right? And ironically, it shows the R in the circle, you know, so you think it's a registered trademark for Bird Brown, but man, they copy that pretty good. But that uh, Bird Brown and that block around it, I don't know if I've seen that before, but these are bad. So if you see that and see that 43 AGF KM, totally different type of code, right? two digits and then a bunch of letters. So let me know what you guys think of that. Anybody that knows what these codes mean and if you can tell that's a bad code. Maybe they copied it from one Burr Brown chip and used it on all these chips I have. And which, by the way, I have over 75 chips and they are all they look the same. And here's another view. You can see them in the little pink bubble anti-static wrap there. Now, here's uh, a ceramic part, okay? Instead of plastic, these are ceramic, and uh, I'm going to show you some more pictures of this, but that's a good part, okay? It does have the circle with the R, but look how the BB is and the square. It's not this funny looking thing, right? That kind of hash mark thing. It's nice and clean. And also, look at its date code, the way they did it. It's a 0038. And then a 0852. I don't know if that means 2008, 52 week, maybe. Lot 38, maybe. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know in the comments. But I'm going to show you another picture so you can see what a plastic. Here's a plastic package on the end, okay? So you can see how it's kind of sandwiched over the silicon chip, the die, connecting to those leads, right? Okay, now here's a ceramic one. Now, you know, these things kind of feel cold to the touch because it's, it's like a piece of ceramic, right? And you can see the epoxy in between them holding them together. So I believe these are hermetically sealed, kind of like we use in mill pref parts. So they cost more to make, so that's why I don't think they'd make knockoffs in ceramic. So there's a plastic and a ceramic next to each other. Okay, now here's the little sockets on my board. And these ceramic parts actually came in these sockets. I think to protect the leads, keep them straight. So that's a nice touch, right? The thing about these sockets, there's two types of sockets. The kind with the little, almost like little springy, uh, two little leaf springs kind of to push against the leads when they come in. Or they get separated when the lead pushes in. And then these kind where they're machined. 
and the leads kind of cut into them and so it makes a lot better connection especially if you're making it several times um, which this one I've kind of pulled it in now and so you can kind of see how it's kind of marked it up a little bit now let me show you a little close-up you can see how they're kind of machine maybe I'm gonna get a little bit closer there you go and you can kind of see the little um, you know the way they formed it in there and so yeah it's kind of a gold pin and they do kind of cut into the leads when they push in so they they hold really well all right guys so if you're looking on ebay or amazon look for the ceramic package you, they'll show you pictures and they even say authentic you know the, i mean a lot of even the plastic ones just say authentic but um but i think the ceramic parts unless they're using you know who knows maybe they'll do a bait and swap they'll show you ceramic and send you plastic but so far i have received what looks like are the pictures that i buy from but they don't it's hard to tell you can't see the label that well in some of these pictures the ceramic one i thought was going to be good it just had a longer lead time to get to me and it, they just barely came a couple days ago even though i ordered them after the first batch it didn't work i thought okay they're a long ways out i don't want to wait that long but i'm going to order those because i'm pretty sure those will probably work because i can't imagine anybody using the expensive process of using ceramics um you know to use counterfeits and so far that might be the safe thing to look for guys <laughs> so let me know your you know nightmares or what you've ran into as far as counterfeits um whenever you find a counterfeit you know comment let us know um come back to this video comment on it so we can have a running tally of what to watch out for and stay away from ah this world of counterfeits not good so yeah let's try to protect each other and let's stay away from them and the return policies from ebay and amazon are amazon's great but still, it's kind of a pain that you have to take a package back to the store and return it, right? And meanwhile, you missed out on time, and now you got to spend more time returning it, and they have to receive it before you get your refund. So it's kind of a pain. Uh, eBay, it's a little bit more of a pain. You have to wait. I, You know, you put in for a refund, and then you have to wait for them to approve it. And so I got to check today to see if it's been approved. I don't think I've seen an approval notice yet. It's been a few days. So I don't know how long it takes to get approved on an eBay thing to return items. I have not given them negative reviews yet because I wanted to give them a chance to respond. But I'm going to follow up with some negative reviews for sure because I want to protect other people from buying these things. And I'm going to go to Amazon too. And also, I'm going to go to eBay and Amazon and say, hey, why aren't you guys doing something to try to protect people? Like, the return policy is great, you know, at least from Amazon. But come on, let's, let's uh, filter out these uh, vendors that are giving us uh, junk parts. Let's put a stop to it. If it costs them money to make parts they can't sell, maybe they'll stop making them. I don't know. Uh I don't mind buying counterfeits if they work as good as the real ones, but <laughs> I'd rather buy them for the company. But, you know, in the case like this where they've stopped making them, uh, and they stopped making them, I think the reason why, by the way, not because it's a bad part, but because it, uh, because of those high voltage drills, you can put some power out, and when you have two of those guys in a package, you can actually overheat the package, and that's why I put the heat sinks on them and because they do kind of warm up uh so i think that's why they stopped making them but anyway the 604s are still out there the opa 604s two of those do the same thing and there are some packages where people have taken two op amps to one uh there's none for the 2604 so i think i'll make one of those let me know what you guys think comments below thanks for watching guys and two thumbs up to my patrons really appreciate you guys and for him to thank you button down below that's awesome and this weekend i'm going to turn on my memberships finally i just had hey give me comments down below on this membership thing one thing that i've been kind of holding off on i have to do three levels 
you know, dollar amount, like one, two, three, five, ten, twenty, thirty, fifty, hundred dollars kind of thing. And it's funny because I've looked at different sites, you know, big channels, and the, some of them ask for fifty dollars, twenty dollars membership fees. I mean, some are kind of crazy high. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think. At each level, I have to offer something. So the first level, you get this little icon next to your name. So that's kind of a cool one. And then the other two levels, I'm going to do some live videos with the patrons and the members of the YouTube. So I think that's going to be at least one. And maybe that'll be for level three or maybe level two. I don't know. So what do you guys think? What well, sounds fair? i like to know. I'm happy to hear. Because <laughs> I've been kind of trying to figure this out so that I can turn it on. And I've kind of been waiting too long to figure this stuff out. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.